Hi guys, it's Frankie from Frankie Tech. Good to see you guys again, and I'm here to check out the Hi10 Go tablet and keyboard combo from Chewy. This is the first time I'm seeing this type of product on the channel, but could this be the productivity tool that you've been waiting for? Let's have a look. All right guys, so here we go. Chewy reached out and they really want me to check out their products. So let's have a look at what they have to offer here with this Hi10 Go tablet and keyboard setup. So it looks like this is the keyboard in black. And of course we have the tablet PC handwriting pen, which will be very interesting. But of course this is the main unit. There it is, the Hi10 Go with an IPS 10.1 inch, 1200 by 1920. We have an Intel Celeron and 4500 and as you can see we have a preloaded windows operating system that's right guys i think this might be the first windows product that i'm seeing here on frankie tech this being the six gigs of ram 128 gigs of storage version so let's not waste any time and unbox this bad boy opening the flap there we go and let's remove this thing and of course there is the tablet itself but let's move this aside and have a look what is inside this looks like we have the warranty card product inspection and the user manual in multiple languages which is always good to see and this looks to be a 24 watt charging brick with the additional connector here for Europe and now let's do it let's remove it out of this film and have a look Ooh, the Hi10 Go with an IPS panel that you see Intel Celeron magnetic docking keyboard there's a stylus and full lamination technology and initial thoughts build quality full metal here so that's really good to see and a very unique kind of centered camera here but the build quality looks really good and I love this red accent power button there very nice so we're going to turn that on in a second but first let's go ahead and unbox the Hi10 keyboard as well opening the flap here we go and I guess it's pretty cool to see that you're getting these types of options you know i being a big ipad user with the magic keyboard but that you can pick up wow a full-size keyboard that will work with this tablet to essentially turn it into a laptop and we have this kind of back case and it looks like there is a hinge on this leathery type material very nice so i've actually gone ahead and put on the case this will be able to stand like so let's go ahead and peel off the protective layer and there it is Let's go ahead and turn this on as well. There we go, Chewy. But now we're gonna do the final portion here, which is connecting the actual keyboard. And the keyboard looks pretty good, pretty clicky buttons. And the trackpad is, you know, it's small, but it's about the same size as the one that you would get on the Magic Keyboard. All right, guys, so I'm fully set up on the Hi10 Go. And let me tell you, I'm actually pretty impressed with this setup. If you're in Windows and PC world, to be able to have this type of tablet that's running Windows and has a full keyboard and trackpad support. It is pretty neat, I will say. And here it is, guys, the full details of this Hi10 Go. There you see with the Intel Celeron, 1.1 gigahertz, 6 gigs of installed RAM with pen and touch support running Windows 10 Home. And all in all, guys, the display actually looks pretty crisp, pretty sharp. Yes, it's a kind of a small computer in many ways, but just the fact that you can then just remove this and then be able to use it in touchscreen mode. I think it's something that a lot of you guys out there who do appreciate the combination of touchscreen within your Windows usage, this is gonna be something very familiar to all of you. And of course, we mustn't forget about the tablet PC handwriting pen, and here it is, just unboxed. As you can see, quite a few interesting features with it, with replaceable pen tips, an erase button, a right-click button, LED indicator, and a charging port. And this will just be another way for you to integrate and use this pen feature while you're using this Chewy tablet. And as you can see, you can hover over various elements and interact this way. So that's it for my first look of this Chewy Hi10 tablet PC system. Stay tuned, of course, for the full review. I definitely need some time with this one, especially because this is the first time we're seeing a Windows-based product here on the channel. So stay tuned. All right, folks, so I'm back after nearly a week of use of this Chewy Hi10 Go, my first tablet PC combination on the channel. And let me tell you, I've actually enjoyed my time with this unit. Now, I'm not a big Windows guy, and you know, in terms of that type of testing, I think it's been more about the experience of using this hybrid solution where you can take off the actual tablet itself, 
and enjoy this thing, but then set it up into laptop mode, slap it onto the keyboard and have this laptop set up as well. So let's just quickly go down each segment and I wanna share my experiences in terms of design. You know, once you remove the separate components, everything works really well. And the tablet portion is really well built. I like this kind of metallic back with all the peripherals you'll need, two USB-C, and you even have an SD card slot right on the side of this unit as well. Beyond that, the bezels are also pretty well sized and I love how everything is in landscape rotation. It really does feel like the first half of a laptop and that's essentially what it is. And the 10.1 inch display is solid, great colors and it is fully laminated as well. But all in all, I think this is about as good a display as you could hope with one of these tablet PC hybrids. And the keyboard, I wouldn't say it's the best of quality, but it's generally still a pretty good experience. And the trackpad is fairly sizable as well. And all in all, the keyboard combined with the display is a solid setup. Now in terms of performance, we have of course the Intel Celeron N4500 with a frequency of 1.1 to 2.8 gigahertz. And I did run the Geekbench for this Hi10 Go. There you see the single core scores, 607 multi-core, 975 so it's not going to be providing you know super powerful levels of performance but i think for general daily use with six gigs of ram 128 gigs of storage this should provide at least decent day-to-day -day pc level performance and one thing i do want to also run is the 3d mark time spy test so let's go ahead and do that in real time for this chewy high 10 go here we go All right, and here are the results for the Time Spy 3D Mark test with a Time Spy score of 193 and a graphic score of 173. So guys, this is not going to be a powerhouse when it comes to, to gaming or anything like that. But like I said, you know, what is the category of this product at $269 for this entire setup? You're basically competing with lower level netbooks and laptops, but for everyday use, like I mentioned, it should still do the job. And of course, in terms of battery life, we have up to six hours of endurance for this High 10 Go. And the nice part about it, because it is kind of a tablet format, you'll have 24 watt fast charging as well. And just FYI guys, I did manage to activate Windows 10 Home on this High 10 Go. So all set up here, and I have my own copy of Windows 10 Home included with this unit. And now going into the audio speaker test for this High 10 Go, we're just gonna play a little bit of SoundCloud here. And let's have a listen to the speaker experience. So what can I say guys? Pretty decent audio experience. It's not gonna knock your socks off, but I think this in laptop mode, it does bounce the sound back and it does create a pretty decent audio experience with this high 10 go. With a 4096 pressure level stylus, there's gonna be another way that you can integrate writing experience into the PC experience of this high 10 go. And last but not least, the rear camera on this high 10 go, you do have that option. But of course with PCs, the main camera you're gonna be using is on the front there and you can see guys, it's pretty sharp. It looks pretty good. I think you're gonna have a fairly decent web conference experience on this high 10 go. So that's it for this video and my final verdict on this Chewy Hi10 Go. You know, it's not the type of product that I've typically looked at here on the channel, but what I do like about this is that it's at least trying to bring something different to the table, offering multiple, almost hybrid approaches to how you can use it from having it completely removed and just using this as a touchscreen PC, which you can totally do and you can still utilize your fingers for that entire experience to having it then docked into PC mode and having the pen as another way of input with full Windows 10 support and the keyboard experience. I think for 269 bucks, this is a pretty compelling option to consider versus a lower cost notebook. And I think because of that, that makes this Chewy High 10 Go a lower cost alternative to the Surface Go. I think that's what this is directly competing with, not the iPad Pro, which offers a very different experience than this. So check links in the description where you can pick up your own High 10 Go. And thanks once again to Chewy for sending this one out. But hit me up in the comments. What are your thoughts on this High 10 Go? And do you use this type of hybrid laptop or tablet PC experience for yourself? Hit me up in the comments. I'd love to hear about it. And that's it for this video. If you liked it, give me that thumbs up. And if you love the content of Ranky Tech, subscribe to the channel. Hit the bell icon for future updates. Definitely nice to check out something new, something different. Never imagined I would be reviewing a PC, but here it is, guys. Hope you enjoyed this one. 
And this is where I leave you by saying, this is Frankie Tech signing off. Have a good one. A solid hybrid tablet PC. Case closed.